Hello beautiful <laughs> Cancers, welcome to your Life Path and Abundance reading, followed by a love reading. This is for the month of October, and this is a combination of horoscope, tarot scope, and we're going to look at your overall energy, Cancer, smoke and mirrors. So there is something right now that is not very clear to you, nor is it intended to be clear to you by the party that is presenting smoke and mirrors. So that can be a little bit of um, trickery, chicanery, misleading. Also, it can be, I feel as though somebody is very much hiding their affection for you. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selfless Humility, Conscious Action. So you're in a, a very beautiful headspace for yourself right now that makes you very aware that even though the world at large seems very mysterious and awkward and a little bit intimidating, you're just going to live your good life and be the best that you can be. Spirit of the River, movement towards adventure. Cancer, that's a very cool card. No one else has gotten that for this month. A more adventurous life. Well, ca well, Cancer, we don't think of you as a great adventure seekers, but you have, you're living with a great hope right now of a different future, and you are working towards it. When we look at your energy, Cancer, we have you on fire. Tiki torches, you know, looking at the ocean. You are saving money. You are very much holding on to everything that's good in your life right now, but you are expanding. You're taking some, you're striking out on your own in a very independent way to have a much more interesting life, you know, just something that is more fun. We get in your seventh house of partnership or a significant other. This can be friends, it can be business partners, uh, and it can be a love interest, you know, it can be anything in terms of what you're looking for. But this is what you look to your seventh house for, for partnership. You want somebody who's incredibly fun, who's incredibly sexy. Right now, we don't get a lot of action in that department. But, you know, the hanged man always, always comes down off of that, that hanging device eventually. We get the energy in your second house of everything that you value that you are defending your turf you know in terms of your money your assets it looks as though you're fighting the good fight to have the life that you want the two of cups speaks to the fact that in your consideration for where you live and what you do you do have someone of consequence in your life that's very sweet and very important to you and it looks as though you're very much taking care of uh, that aspect of your life when it comes to a partner or their money or their assets or bank loans this could be the area of your investments so we see that there has been some disappointment i think the news has said that there's been somewhat of a downturn but we see you having one investment in particular or one person, you know, that's it, it's I'm going to read this two ways. This is your person coming to help you and offering you some assistance in your goals. Okay, so they're making this offer, they're handing their their cups of love out to you and it can be financial advice, but we see you turning the corner on probably something that didn't work out in terms of partnership and wealth and abundance building. So it does look like you have some new investment coming in, somebody coming in to really help you restore, renew, and, and redo uh, to your great happiness uh, some aspect of your financial life. Your neighborhood, well, you know, you're looking a little bored over here and you'd like something kind of romantic and new. So many of you will choose to move probably at least 10 miles away from where you're at. Again, this is only going to be for some. For some of you, you're, you know, a little bit bored with where you're at, but you're still content. But you, when we see the three of um, the third house is communication, you want to hear from somebody romantically or somebody is coming in 
to speak to you romantically. I don't know that you really accept sort of new communication. You're over here thinking, well, where's the party? Where's my person? But we do have a romantic opportunity coming in, probably from somebody very close by, a neighbor, somebody. But for many of you, you are on the move. Um, the, the energy that I'm getting here in terms of your long-term ideals, what you want, we see you wanting to manifest in abundance. Many of you would like to travel overseas. Many of you would like to possibly have a home in a very different sort of location. Um, but you are saving for your dream, whatever your dream is, whether it is to expand your education, to travel abroad. Um, it does indicate also that you may fall in love with somebody from a different culture, you know, a different background, a different ethnicity, but you have manifestation, the Empress card energy in that. With the Two of Cups, there you are in your reading. This is really quite nice. I like this energy for you, Cancer. When it comes to your home life, you want to have fun. You want to stop carrying a burden. Many of you would like to move where there is, uh, you know, a lot of sunshine, a lot of outdoor activity. And I'm getting in your career, many of you would very much like to just take off into the sunset. A lot of you are looking at how to retire early, the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. Some of you may get an option for a buyout, which you may accept or not. And many of you will get a chance to actually leave your place of employment. And many of you will, you know, will leave and many of you won't. But I see a lot of happiness. That sun card is very dynamic. And that is in your everyday. That's your home, your hearth, everywhere that you feel safe. Now you feel as though it's not really possible because we have this nine of wands. But you have fire in your belly. The nine of wands is absolutely the warrior who will press on during the battle to win. When we look at your fifth house of romance, you are st somebody steadily moving towards you. You will throw caution to the winds for somebody who is willing to show up on a Monday through Sunday type of energy. This is Virgo energy. Again, Virgo energy. So your fifth house and your 11th house, this is your friends, the your hopes, your dreams, you know, your affiliations with others. And it looks like right now on a personal level, you're very happy. Friends, and you know, we're getting that. It's been a long time since you've really gone out with friends, that you've really had fun with friends, but you are looking forward to it. You know, as we move into springtime of next year, you're waiting for that chance to get out and about and enjoy yourself. The energy in your day-to-day -day life, in your, the mundane, you know, that I get up every day, I put my shoes on, I have a cup of coffee or whatever it is that you drink, whether it be tea, but it looks like you're building. There's some sort of opportunity coming that's going to be very fulfilling. The Ten of Coins is abundance, legacy. So for some of you, you may have legacy uh, money coming to you that you might not want, you know, and I would liken that to be like an inheritance or like a parent who's older that says, look it, I want to see you enjoy this money while I'm alive because I'm getting older and I'm almost, almost 100. I'm almost 100 years old. So, you know, it's, uh, I exaggerate, of course, but the 10 is, you know, you add zeros to that. But what we see here is that though you feel like, I don't want that right now, I want you, and but it's a really beautiful energy and so you will uh, reluctantly accept some sort of familial gift it appears some sort of inheritance for most of you that will be you knew about it i mean it's not like you didn't know about it but you know we have the three of pentacles so you reluctantly accept this help and what we see here is that you really dearly love somebody that some of you may take care of a parent that you really love because we have this parent card in the house of the 12th house. The 12th house is hospitals, asylums, you know, it's anywhere that people are healing. And it looks as though for many of you, you may have a parent that lives with you because we have the legacy card here of family. And we also have the, the legacy of love card here as family. And so the sixth house is all about your day-to-day -day functioning. It's not about romance, you know, that's over here. But what we see is that you will probably receive a very loving gift 
from someone who is going to reward you for all of the beautiful love and care and kindness that you have given them. You're, you'll be reluctant to accept it, but it's okay. It's that time. Let a parent enjoy or whoever this benefactor is for you. But that is your life path and abundance reading. We're going to switch right over to your love reading, Cancer. Thank you for joining me. Cancer, let's take a look at your love reading and see what is the energy is in your overall uh, love life. The Ace of Wands, beautiful, new, passionate beginning. We have the Aries Queen here with the Leo King. So in the recent past, you have thoroughly enjoyed a very, very passionate relationship. The steam is coming off the table. Yeah. <laughs> let's lower the temperature just a bit. Right now, the current energy between you and a love interest is somebody is rushing in to speak to you after waiting a very long time. So, Cancer, I do like the energy of Virgo. Somebody wants to be very conscientious with you. They definitely want to, uh, they have a lot to say to you. And it looks as though you're in this mode of walking away and not looking in the past and somebody's rushing in again. We have that Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Somebody wants you, Cancer. They don't want you walking away from them. So there may have been a separation of eight months. It could be, you know, it could be more than that. It could be less than that. But it does look like for many of you, a new opportunity from somebody that you already know is coming back into your life. Again, if you don't want to take somebody back from the past, it's cool. You have the ability to have a brand new birthing or beginning in a new love relationship. So when we look at how your person views you, cancer, they view you as the one. They want to put you in the boat. They want to take care of whatever happened here. They want to make amends. They want to move forward with you. They're waiting for the right time. Your person didn't, they weren't terribly kind to you in the past. Something that they did was very painful. The five of swords is when somebody sort of, you know, they're not so nice to you and it looks as though they're coming in to make an apology, okay? The way your person views the situation is they view themselves as having brought devil energy into a relationship. They view a situation like they're underwater. Your person is in this very strong Pisces energy that says, I really, really did the wrong thing, but they're obsessed with you. They will not, they cannot give up thinking about you, this is a card of obsession, secretly sort of manipulating things behind the scenes. Your person looks like, you know, there may even be contact from another person, uh, which is blinded. You can't really see, see who you're dealing with. So for some of you, there will be covert contact uh, through some other mechanism as a way of trying to find out if you are in the mood to take them back, what, whatever it is that you think. Hidden in the energy between you and your person is the sun and the moon. Yin yang, how much more can that really be clear that the two of you are one another's happy space and right now the two of you look to be in, in um, separation. It looks as though you haven't had contact with each other. Again, though, I like the Ace of Wands for that contact coming in. We get the Death card. Spirit is saying, whatever you've invested in, let it go. Make a new investment based on what someone brings to the table. You know, wait to see what this person has to say before you invest. Um, what we see here is your outcome is old friends coming together. The Three of Cups is clarified by the Three of Cups. That's a reunion, my friends. So again, I feel as though somebody is rushing in to talk to you. If you are not looking at a love interest, then this could be anyone with whom you've had maybe a minor falling out or somebody that you haven't talked to in a very, very long time. If you're looking to have a reunion with anyone, this is your love reading. So that's what you have cancer. Good luck for the month of October. Talk to you soon. Sending you love from Chicago since I'm back and tell me where you're from. Thank you.